Hello guys and welcome to my channel. This is Xlantech with my new tutorial, my brand new tutorial in Vegas Pro 15. How to create the best MVV possible, I think. I forgot the name because I made this tutorial series two years ago, guys. And I realized why the heck not? Why should I quit with this series when I had a ton of views and a ton of great feedbacks? And in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to create the zooming transition. In the last tutorial, I was teaching you guys how to create the sliding transition, but now I will teach you how to create the zooming one. The zooming one that will blow your mind. So basically, stick with me and I will show you two methods. One is with, with plugins and one is without plugins. So let's begin. I will show you first the one with the plugins. The three plugins that you will need. I will say two plus one. Two are required and one is not required. It's totally optional to you if you want to use some badass effects on your uh, video. Uh, I'm using what was this anime called? Uh, Dragon Ball Super. I have two videos sliced in half and I'm gonna begin to create some nice zooming transitions. Uh, the first plugin that you're gonna need to have is RSMB. And the second one is called Sapphire. I will leave their names down in the description if you for some reason didn't hear me well. Also, the third plugin that I will use is called Magic Bullet Looks. Which will make your videos a lot more sexier. So, let's begin. Head over to VidFX, click on S slash blur uh, Shimata. My Vegas Pro 15 crashed. Actually, it crashes all the time. You can use Vegas Pro 15, but you can also use any previous version if you have. Make sure you select here to reflect and reflect. Click on the plus sign, make sure it's red now. Head over to the beginning and scroll to the bottom here. After you see Zdist. When you see Zdist, make sure it's one. Head over a few keyframes after the first one. So this is a one keyframe, two keyframes, three keyframes. So around three keyframes. It makes, make sure it's somewhere around 0 0.65 and 0 0.9. I will make sure that mine is 0 0.74. Also, I'm gonna head over to the last keyframe and I'm gonna make sure it's 0 0.15, somewhere between 0 0.05 and 0 0.25. I will make sure mine is 0 0.15 and I'm gonna click enter just like this. Awesome, isn't it? After that, I'm gonna click right click on here and make sure it's set on smooth fade also here smooth fade i'm gonna exit and i'm gonna try to see what we made so something like this looks completely awesome so let's move to the second part head over to default and drag it inside the second part which we sliced up even before i started with filming this tutorial make sure it's set to plus make sure you start from zero 0.15 click on enter head over almost to the end as you can see we have the eyeball so it will give us some really nice effect while moving between the eyeballs from here to here we could actually zoom a little bit more in here but it's totally not necessarily because the video is moving a lot fast really fast so the human eye can actually can't actually see that. Click on 0 0.15 and head over somewhere around here. Make sure it's 0 0.75 and head over. So this is one is 0 0.5 and this one is 0 1. Make sure this one is set to fast fade and this one is also set to fast. Hmm, this one is already fast fade. Right click. So this is one is fast fade, and this one. Click on here. 
Hmm, it lets me change the fast fade from here. Also from here, but when I click here. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. So this is what we made, guys. What do you think? But we are far from less from none. Go again to your video effects and make sure that you type RSMB. Drag it somewhere around here. Drag it also here. Just drag it slowly but carefully. And then drag it. Let go of the click. And then click on X and exit it. I already did that, but I forgot to tell you that. So I tried to redo that step. Alright, guys. So let's see what we made. I will play this multiple times so that it will load up correctly. The more I load up, the more I load it, the more better it's gonna show it to you. So it looks like that this is showing too slow. And how do we make it a little bit faster? Click on here and hold control and move it to the left side. Also for here, move to the right side by clicking control. And then I'm gonna select both of these and I'm gonna let them load. So this is what we made. What do you think? Looks completely nice, isn't it? So, to spice the things even more up, I'm gonna use Magic Bullet Looks and add some sexy effects. Some kawaii sexy Neko-chan effects. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, click on Edit Look. Make sure your mouse cursor is on the left side, so this will appear. And we are gonna use this cool sexy kawaii effect. Actually, I don't like it. <laughs> I used it because it said cool. I'm gonna move it again. I'm gonna click on edit look again. Go to the left side and gonna use the action one. I like this one because Dragon Ball Super is all about action. Move this one also here. Click on edit look, move to the left side and click on active, finished and exit everything. And let's see how it looks like. Also, we can add some transition between them. Also, click on transitions and let's use some glow. Because why not? Click on S dissolve glow and drag it between here, somewhere between here. Don't mess with anything. Make sure it's more in the inside and let's test it out. So basically this is what we made. Hmm, we can actually make this a little bit faster. Let's see now. For some reason it doesn't look good for me. I'm gonna enter this one again and see where's the problem. Click on magic bullet as blur more curves. The first keyframe is 0, 15. This one is 0 0.75. And the last one is one. So let's see what we made. So it looks a lot better. We have the full eye, the full zoom. As you can see, when we start the animation, it's going from the outside to the inside. So it's zooming in and then it flashes and then it zooms out. So this is what we made. Let's see it once more. Nice, isn't it? So this is the first step. How to create it with plugins. And now, I'm gonna show you a method without using any plugins. But firstly, there's an annoying part. I have to zoom 
uh, have to undo, 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 and use Control plus Z or Dragon Ball plus Z a lot of times. And oh my God, we actually did it. We undo it to the beginning. We undid everything what we, what we made so far. You can, I don't know, you can uh, see the example for the last one uh, when you. All right, let's begin. The things that you will need is only the pan and crop tool. So to start, make sure the first frame, frame the first keyframe looks like this. Make sure you hold shift when you're dragging so it will look like this but when you let go of shift uh, it looks like this so use shift one time had three keyframes after or four and actually the first keyframe is like this and the one that's like one two three four four keyframes after is somewhere like this make sure it's set on smooth head over almost to the end and zoom and zoom so that you can see the eyes on me so somewhere around this should be looking fine right click smooth Right click, smooth, checked, done. So also for the second one, also we are going to do the same thing, but only reverse. To do that, head over to your position tool, I guess, and click somewhere around here. Make sure this one, this baby around here, is completely zoomed. So that you can see only the eyeball, the black eyeball, the black sun, or however you want to call it. Uh, head over to the last parts, right click, restore, make it like this, and like this. Now hit on fast, right click, fast, and let's see what we made should be slow but we are gonna make it faster actually it looks fine it's almost it's really slow in some parts I want it to be fast especially here so let's see what we made this looks nice also, the transition between them is always appreciated. See guys, this is what we made without any plugins. Also, you can spice up the things even more at the end when you try to use the Magic Bullet plugin. I have a link in the description if you want to download the Magic Bullet plugin for free. I made a tutorial, so check that out if you are interested. And basically guys, this is it for this tutorial. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and I will see you guys until the next time. Stay awesome.